Thank you, Lord, for coming and coming back with another video. Oh, look, man. Off the rip. We got some cheese. Hold on. We got some cheese. We got some Chick fil A, bro. You feel me? We're going to see if they got everything to come in here. Let me read y'all what I got. I got, that. I got some nuggets. I got a sandwich. No bun. Lettuce wrap. You know what I'm saying? Fries. Brownie. Some chips. Lemonade. Lemonade. Polynesian sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. So, let's get into it. All right. So we see if they got everything. We'll do a checklist real quick. All right. Sticky shit on my finger. Chips. Check. All right. Fries. Check. Real nigga snack. Check. Brownie. Check. Nuggets, check. We're gonna get a five count. We ain't got nothing crazy, dude. Let us ride Burger King, check. They love your boy over some Chick fil A sauce, Polynesian sauce, check. Hey, customer service, 10 out of 10. Every day, they got all my shit, 10 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Every single thing I order, no substitutes, none of that. So, first thing first, let's try this food, man. Y'all know what time it is, so we stop stalling. Got the lettuce, got the lettuce wrap burger. Hold on, let me get a closer look for y'all. This is the shit look like. Lettuce wrap burger. I could have got grilled, y'all. I ain't think about that. I honestly could have got grilled. I don't know why I didn't get grilled, but we got the lettuce wrap burger though. Let's go crazy. And yes, this is a mukbang. Honestly, honestly, y'all. Life just been a roller coaster, G. You know what I'm saying? Up and down, up and down, up and down. It's nobody fault with chores for what goes what goes on in your life and what you choose to accept. So you gotta own up to everything that goes on in your life. And you got real hard. Some motherfuckers you do went around. Just don't want no help from you, bro. Just gotta let them be, G. They don't want no help. They don't want to be safe. They just want to keep chasing the same thing, same person, same everything, bro. That's why I tell y'all, y'all stay woke, man. Stay woke to that shit. Woke is not even about you knowing what's going on in your world. Just wake up to your situation, my nigga. You know, if anything, I recommend anybody. This might sound cool, but I recommend anybody to work on what they got on, got going on mentally and physically than worry about what's going on in the world because the world is it's a big shift of energy that was going on. You should always know what's going on in your world. I'm talking about Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel like if you're not there yet mentally, bro, and you see the shit that they really doing, you're not going to be ready, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like... Take that time. Work on yourself, bro. You don't need to talk to people, man. This is what I used to do. Stop talking to everybody you talk to for a week. See what they hit you up first. The people that you know is going to hit you up first. I ain't gonna lie, I used to talk to people that always hit me up first. Cause I wanted to see for a week straight. Will I be willing to hit them up? You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand this one thing. We're not on this earth to be friends with everybody. And everybody's just not meant to be in our life right now at the moment. You might have elevated past what some chick you messing with doing. You still put up with her cause you see hope and you see that light in her, but she don't see the light in herself, do you? You know what I'm saying? That's just a situation. You know what I'm saying? Example, basically. A basically example. You see the light in her, but she don't see the light in herself. She let people, all the people, she let all the people that's around her, all her friends and shit, just guide her into all this bullshit, bro. She's such a sweet soul. Such a good person. Such a good person, bro. Such a good person, but she just don't see that shit in herself, though, G. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You got two options. Still fuck with the chick and fall back. That means step all the way back. Let her do her. Stop saying shit to her. 
Because what, what, what they do is, they really mad at somebody else, but they come on and put that anger on you because they know that you you got potential and they know that you you bigger than what you doing. So they, cause they, so, cause they feel like when you say that to them, they feel like that you putting them beneath them. And that's the huge mistake everybody makes. A chick comes in the dude's life, trap, say a nigga that's trapping, doing drugs or whatever. Not doing drugs, but selling drugs and shit, right? She's like, you, you so smart, you got so much potential. He feeling like deep down the side, like, but this bitch think she, she, this bitch think she above me. She think what I'm doing is too low. It's too low for her. They go fuck with somebody else. That's when you, you start seeing the insecurity. They be like, go fuck with somebody else. Go fuck with that nigga. Why the fuck you talking to me then? They go, you gonna start seeing that shit, bro. It's not that you shouldn't say anything. I just feel like you shouldn't just make that the main course of, the, of your conversations, of your, of your relationship. Let that person do whatever. If you still wanna fuck with that person, fuck with that person, but fall back, bro. It's just certain shit you gotta, I heard the real shit earlier in this interview with Saka Zulu. Um, talk about the ex-carnation shit. Here's one thing he said that stuck out to me. This is not the only thing, though. This is one thing he said, though, one of the things. I'm going to take, take it off. He said, bro, you know the outcome of the situation, but you just got to let your wife go through shit. And he's talking about his wife, but I'm going to say that with your girl. You just got to let your girl go through that shit. You know the outcome. You've been in this situation already, probably multiple times, dozen times. You just got to let them go through that situation so they can feel it, G. That shit hit me. I said, okay, that makes sense now, bro. Cause I'm telling, I'm telling the person I talk to, and I'm telling like, hey, you know they're not gonna stop doing that shit. You know they gonna, mm, they not hearing me, G. I mean, they not, they hear me, but they not feeling me, G. You just gotta let that person go through that situation. It's like, it's like they, it's like they try to chase and try to get a hold of these people that just won't. They not gonna do it, G. They either gonna learn from dead or in jail. Till they, till they get somewhere to sit down. At. You know what I'm saying? So. That's the true outcome of that shit. But you can't, but you can't say nothing. As soon as you say something, you bad guy, my nigga. You bad guy. You feel me? You do everything wrong, my nigga. Let's go try this thing. Sure. One thing, bro. Don't never lower your standards and lower your vibration. You used to try to understand what people going through. You could try to understand what people going through. Cause as soon as you feel their pain, you're you're with one. You're a whole, you're a whole now. So whatever that person go through, you're gonna go through. Do, 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 you know what I'm saying? They going through it mentally, you're gonna go through it mentally. You might have been working on yourself for two years and you meet somebody that you really like, but they don't see the potential in their self, they can lower your vibration. Cut that shit off instantly. When I say cut that shit off. Cut that giving people your energy shit off. Nigga, don't give nobody your energy. They have it, bro. Make niggas earn that shit. I'm not saying being dry. I'm saying just, nigga, just protect yourself, nigga. That's what I'm basically trying to say. Just protect yourself, G. Just protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Protect, just protect yourself overall, you feel me? Chick fil A sauce. Chick fil A! So, if you know what I knew, you will look at life different, right? All this shit is just a distraction. You put these friends in your life, and God just wants to see. No, God is within you, and obviously God, God is within us. He just wants to see you overcome it. You keep saying to you keep saying to that person that's good to you so many times. I just want to cut her off. I just can't. Why the fuck can't you? You know what I'm saying? You know why you can't? Because they making you feel like that you need them. They don't need. They don't need you. No, no, you don't need them. They need you, G. They corrupting your energy. Have you do shit that you usually don't do? And what people do, they ignore that. Because when you have somebody good in your life, bro, you know, one thing I realized, you only going to find, like, a true soulmate, like, one time. One time. So when that person flies over, you know what they're going to you know they forever do? They could tell you all this shit. I don't need you. I don't want to be with you. Fuck you, this and that, right? That's the same person that's going to be trying to, get re try to get back in touch with you. Try to get a second chance. 
You was right. Duh, duh, duh. They said this shit's a mind game, so I play this shit mental. I let niggas think they know what they doing physically. I don't say nothing. I just let niggas think they know what they doing. Then you kill them. You just, you kill them niggas mentally. They, they you so fucking, you like a well oiled machine, nigga. They just can't stand you. To, they can't stand you. Cause you just so fucking good, my nigga. You just, you just a fucking king, my nigga. You a killer, nigga. I got killer instincts, bro. And I ain't let nobody break that. You know what I'm saying? Try these chips. I ain't never tried any chips. Chip filet sauce, of course. The chips are just the fries, but just, you know, heavily more processed. Come on, Kim. Let me get you later. I'm going to get a little piece for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Brownie, stay moist. Hey, Brownie. Let's go. Wake your bitch ass up, Lucky Charms. I like my fish wet and squirming. I thought I was dreaming. You are dreaming. almost dreaming. I mean, nigga. Crazy thing is, they brownies don't even taste sweet, dude. At all. But. A couple more bites, right? It's supposed to be a mud bag, right? Come on, I got you, dude. I mean, like, nigga, you ain't shit, nigga. You just talk the whole time. I know, man. That's me, right? That's me, right? Yeah, I know, G. I know, G. I know the real, G. I know the real. Y'all niggas be skipping past it and everything. Skipping when I be saying this shit. Mm-hmm. I already know. And this one, I'm Davian No More. Love y'all guys. I'm out, man. You want to enjoy this? Continue doing what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? YouTube shit all day today. I don't feel like talking to nobody personally. You know? So, focus on myself, grinding. Get a quick meal in. Get back to doing what I was doing, G. Go. Love, man. And make sure to subscribe button now. Roll to a thousand. Oh!